This is question 46. It says the table below shows the charges for renting and racing a go-kart. Love me some go-kart racing. That is a good time right there. So we have the number of laps and the price in dollars. It looks like each time you go up a lap, you're adding $3 to that price. And we're starting at $5. All right, so which graph best represents these prices? So I'm looking for number of laps being zero and the price in dollars being five. If I look at choice A, if I start at zero laps, it's not making me, it's not charging me anything, so it's not choice A. I'm looking for one that starts at zero, five. And so this one starts at zero, zero. Not that one. Choice B down here starts at five, zero, not zero, five. So not that one. And let's see if this one actually matches up. It seems like it will but let's find out here. So if I have zero laps, that's $5. It's right in between the four and the six. If I go one lap, that's gonna be right about there or so. I go up there, I have eight, so the price matches up. If I continue that, two and 11, right about there. Then I have, let me just draw those points in. So I've got a point right here, I've got a point right there at one eight. I've got a point at 211 got a point at 314, 417, and finally 520. So this one, I've got all the data points there. Final answer for this one is choice D.